In this video, we're going to talk about setting up your multi-factor authentication that goes with your Microsoft account. So the next time you log into your account, you may notice that it's looking for some different information. You may see a screen that looks like this that is requesting more information. And when you get to the screen, what you're going to do is click Next. After you select Next, a Keep Your Account Secure wizard like this will appear. The next step in the process will be to download and install the Microsoft Authenticator app on your phone. The Microsoft Authenticator app is available in the Google Play Store and the Apple App Store, depending on what kind of device you have. Go to those app stores now, download the Microsoft Authenticator app, and once it's been installed, return to this screen and select Next. The next step is to set up your account on your phone. You'll start by opening the Microsoft Authenticator app on your phone, and if prompted, select to allow notifications. Once open, you'll add a new account to the app, and then select the Work or School account option. Next, you'll select the Scan a QR Code option. The first time you use the Authenticator app, you'll need to give it permission to use your camera so it can scan the QR code in the next step. Now that the QR code scanner is ready on your phone, you'll return to your computer and select Next. You can now use the Authenticator app on your phone to scan the QR code on your computer screen, which will connect the Microsoft Authenticator app with your account. If the QR code reader can't read the code, you can select the Can't Scan Image button and manually enter the code and URL into the Authenticator app. After you scan the QR code, select Next. A notification is then sent to the Microsoft Authenticator app on your mobile device to test your account. Approve the notification in the Microsoft Authenticator app and then select Next. Your security information is then updated to use the Authenticator app by default to verify your identity when using two-step verification or password reset. Next, on the phone setup page, choose whether you'd like to receive a text message or a phone call. Enter the number you'd like used and then select Next. If you opt for a text message, make sure to use a phone number that can receive texts. Now, enter the code provided by the text message sent to your phone. Then, select Next. You'll now see a confirmation message that looks like this once you have successfully registered your phone. You can now select Next, and on this final screen, you'll see a success message showing that you've both set up the app as well as a phone backup. Once you verify that all of your information is correct, you can click Done, and that concludes the setup process for multi-factor authentication.